Well, first time on uh, Patterson, so I suppose it won't be too different, but nice to get on the ground that you'll play a fair bit of footy on. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, we've been looking forward to getting back to Patterson's and having a run, and, uh, you know, the guys have been training really well at Fremantle, so it's good to, um, yeah, to get to the, to the big oval. Does it make any difference? I mean, you've been training at Frio and everything, but you've played so many games at Subi. Oh, a little bit of difference in that it's a little bit longer, um, and... Uh, you know, it's a little bit different when you're zoning and doing some some of the um, the team-based things. So, um, so yeah, there's a little bit different from that point of view structurally. But outside of that, you know, it's uh, it's just great to be in the back on the uh, on the big ground. Feel uh, a little bit nervous that you know the games are coming around so quickly now. Oh, it's amazing how uh, how yeah fast it comes around again. So, um, but no, look, I think uh, look myself and and the rest of the club is really excited for uh, you know the NAB Cup campaign and and then also you know getting ready for round one. Have you had a chance to catch up with David Mundy after a bit of a miss at the training? Uh, yeah, I caught up with him the other day. Yeah, no, he's in. Uh, he's fine. He's in really good spirits. He's looking forward to you know getting back on the track really soon. So I mean, obviously you don't have the medical background, but do, do you suspect he might play some NAB Cup and should be okay for? Oh look, I, I think he'll be fine. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's worked fantastically hard. He's in great shape and he's a super important player. So um, yeah, no, he's uh, he'll be fine. No dramas at all. Seen um, Anthony back at the club as yet, or are you giving him a, a bit of extra time? Yeah, no, he, he's just taking his own time at the moment. Um, but in saying that, I think uh, all things considered, he's in he's in really good spirits. Um, so yeah, no, we haven't actually sent him back just yet. But the the club and all the players have been, you know, really um, giving offering a lot of support. And you know, he's just such a super talent. So we, you know, we would love him to be out there um, as soon as possible. What do you do with the NAB Cup? Every year we ask the question: How seriously or how far do you want to go? Um, have you sat down to talk about what plans you have or what, what um, ideally you'd like to achieve during that? Oh, not necessarily. It's, it's more just about getting the players fit and available and, and everyone you know, ready to go. Um, so you know, it, the NAB Cup provides us with a great opportunity to, to play games against you know, the rest of the competition. Um, but then also just completely primus for round one. So, um, you know, that's that's the you know what we're really looking forward to. But I guess as a player, you're just looking forward to playing some footy again, and and uh, you know chasing the white line around the outside doesn't necessarily uh, always entertain you for too long. So it's great to get back to playing footy. You had some off-season surgery, Paul. Where are you at, and will you be ready for NAB Cup round one? Yeah, yeah. So um, no, look, I'm. Uh, going really, really well. So I've had uh, just a little clean up on the left knee, and um, you know, really looking forward to um, to getting there and playing some footy. Um, I've haven't missed a beat in terms of um, getting everything right, and I'm, I'm a couple of weeks ahead of schedule. So, so yeah, really looking forward to uh, to yeah getting out there and playing in a in a couple of weeks. What about uh, the team, like the strength of the team? I mean, Matthew Pavlich is probably the one we've spoken about for most of the time. But apart from Pav, would you sort of feel most of them will play? Early games of the NAB Cup. Uh, yeah, I would have thought so. I know that the uh, the rehab groups really shrunk in the last couple of weeks down to a couple of players. So you know, everyone's we've had a you know uh, real swelling of players to get out and train, and and uh, that's fantastic. And that's that's been the you know, sort of the plan all along. So everyone's been managed really well. And um, yeah, as I said, it's just getting a couple of couple more good weeks into the guys before we you know get into some into some uh, NAB Cup games. Yeah, Pat won't play until right at the end of the NAB Cup. Is that a chance for? The younger power forwards in the in the squad to maybe stake a claim for a place in the team. Yeah, absolutely, and I think there's um, yeah, and we've just got some tools in the likes of uh, sort of Jack Hanneth and, and Zach Clark and John Griffin and, and Aaron Sandlands as well. He's in great shape, so you know, looking at you know those sort of guys um, obviously playing roles as well. So I think yeah, it's a great opportunity for for um, for all all the sorry all those taller players and uh, younger key forwards just to to shape up and see see how things will go over the next couple of weeks. Life in the pre-season any different under Ross Lyon from last year to this year? Uh, well, he might be a little bit more relaxed this year. Um, no, look, actually, to be honest, really similar, which is which is great. Um, you know, it's a really consistent, uh, elite environment for the players, and and everyone, uh, you know, is striving really hard on a on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's the kind of culture and attitude Ross brings. So. Um, you know, he's been, um, yeah, obviously fantastic again for the group going forward. And I think, you know, we're just really excited to get out there and, um, you know, disappointing to um, not go further in the finals last year, but obviously really looking forward to, to, to starting the year with uh, hopefully the momentum we finished with last year. Just quickly, do you find 12 months down the track, having now spent that year with him, that you've, um, you're not 
sort of starting from scratch and you've got a, a real grasp of what he wants? Yeah, I think that's the um, the big plus is it's 12 months under um, his regime and, and in the scheme of things that's um, there's a lot of information to take on early and, and the guys feel like we're, we already have a, a, a feel pretty good grasp on that. So, um, you know, that's the real bonus, um, you know, going forward that the players have a good understanding of things already and as I said, it's um, can't wait to play some footy and start implementing it.